Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel and I'm in a different background again because if you've been following if you've been following my tongue is just so I can't just say following 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 see if you've been following me on Instagram you would know that I was in Taiwan Taipei actually I'm now in Taipei but by the time you watch this video I was in Taipei but anyway since I'm applying makeup and doing stuff with this doing stuff just using my travel makeup bag I decided to film a quick video showing you what I brought on in to know what what I brought with me to Taiwan so Yep, it's in the same travel makeup bag that Pinim from Thailand gave me because it's just really, it's a good size to bring because it's like the size of your hand. It's not too big, not too small, and, and it is enough to put your makeup. What's kind of different about this what's in my travel makeup bag video is that I will be picking out things that I will use and then I'll show it to you like this and then I will apply it also. So this is the proof that I am using everything that I brought with me. Okay, so anyways, let's start with this one. This is Perfect Skin One Shot Cover Stick Foundation and it comes in a stick form and you twist it up like this. So and yeah. You would probably know about this if you've been reading my blog because I did a haul on this on my blog. So if you're interested, you can go look. I brought it because it's really, really, really convenient. And I just cover that. And the other end has a brush. Very convenient for travel. But the thing is, it doesn't have a lot of coverage. As you can see, it's still my acne. This is from eating a lot of fried Taiwanese, like real Taiwanese food, and from not getting enough sleep because, well, I'm on vacation. I'm staying with my best friend, so it means that it's like long nights, all right? So I get acne, but it's okay. It's okay. It's gonna heal. It provides no coverage at all. As you can see, you can still see my freckles and it leaves a lot of fresh streaks. I'm not sure if you can see it on camera, but brightens up and evens out my skin. Use my finger to kind of blend away, like just tap and blend with my fingers to take away that streak mark. And then next, I will use my concealer and this is the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Concealer. What I do is I twist it and I put it on the back of my hand. I think I twist it too much. And then I use my ring finger to apply on my dark circles. I don't even have to, you know, describe how dark it is because you're witnessing it right now. I'm tapping it in. Just blend it in. Blend, 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 blend. try to blend everything in but the most important part is the dark circles and it's already handled I think kind of okay next is I need to set my face with powder and I think if you've watched my first what's in my travel makeup bag video you would probably know what the inside of this looks like but I'll show you quickly what it's like and it's just like a large pouch here and you have like a smaller pouch this is a smaller pouch here at the side and what I do is I put two products or products like these that are not flat in the bigger compartment and I put like the flat products like these um, powder compacts inside the side pouch. Okay, so the next item I got out is this. This is the 1028 um, Super Oil Control Powder Pack, which I love. If you've been watching me for a while and watched my 2014 favorites, you would probably see it and look at how much I love it. I already hit pan and the next product is this. This is the Real Techniques Retractable Kabuki Brush, which I got from Thailand. So if you've watched my Thailand haul, you would know. If you don't even know what I'm talking about, it means that you have not watched a lot of my videos, which makes me sad, okay? So go watch my videos. <laughs> I'm kidding. Okay, so I just swirl this and then I tap it on my face. Most importantly is my under eye circles, so I usually start there because I do not want my concealer to slip. I don't even know if I'm doing it the right way, but yeah, I'm just da da done and then da da done. And then I buff powder like this and done. 
My favorite part is bringing it up to them and I will and store it. Next, next, next is eyebrows and ta -da! all of the writings or the signs or labels are gone but you should probably know this is the Etude House's super famous eyebrow pencil and this is the part I need time and concentration, alright? Okay. I think it's a bit too thick today. Whatever. Okay, so what I do is I usually um, apply it like this. And spoolie it out. My eyebrows are really, really dark today. It looks quite okay in person, but I think it's a bit dark and really, really uneven on camera. But you know what? It's okay. Eyebrows are sisters and they're not supposed to be twins, alright? Okay, so eyebrows are done, and the next item I brought with me is. is. NYC Sunny Bronzer. Head on. I'm actually just starting to bronze my face. I usually skip this step, but then, like, after a while or something, I kind of decided, you know what, it kind of makes a difference since I have such big jaws here, but yeah. And I have this Tony Moly brush. Tony Moly brush. And I only use this as a bronzer brush because it's not as soft, but I don't mind using it on my contours. I don't even have a contour, but anyways, I dip it in and then I tap the tap and then I try to do this. Okay. And I apply it here first and then bring it in and then up to my temples. Most important part is jawline. Slim it down, baby. Slim it down. Although I don't think it's working. Okay. To the next side. Don't you guys think my left side looks so much better than my right side? See? This one looks so much better. Right? Okay. And I go in with my blush. The blush. Blush. This is my Essence Silky Touch Blush in the color doll face. Adorable, adorable. And I still use this kabuki brush because I only have two brushes with me and it's okay. It's a really, really light pink and what I do is that and then that, that, that. And then blend. That and blend. See, it's so light you can't even see it. Which is why I'm not afraid to use the kabuki brush. It's a really pretty everyday color. Again, favorite part. Pull up, snap. Okay, not done. I still have my eyes, alright? So what I do is, what I usually do is, I use this. This is Bare Minerals 5-in-1 BB Cream Eyeshadow. B yeah, I think it's called BB Cream Eyeshadow, but here it says Advanced Performance Cream Eyeshadow, which I don't know how advanced it is, but it's a really, really pretty color, and I like the texture and stuff. This is actually a tester. I'm not going to tell you how I got it because it's in my blog, so go read my blog. I'm pretty sure it is going to be in my favorite. I'm not sure if this video is going to be up first or my favorite is going to be up first, but it's either you already saw this in my favorites video or you're gonna see this in my favorites video so yeah Ooh, I look funny and then I blend with my fingers okay just blend both sides you can't see this on camera but it has like really pretty little glitter or sparkles like tiny tiny ones not boom glitters but it's a really good glitter it's just pretty and it lightens up my lid and brightens everything up next step is use this Catrice single eyeshadow in the number 400 my first copperware party this is supposed to be a dupe for max satin taupe i remember watching i mean reading a blog post and saying this is a dupe so i just decided to get it darken my outer v with this color with my pinky and blending away give it a little bit more dimension than just a single eye color nothing much just a teeny tiny bit 
simple two color everyday look and then I'm done with eyeshadow. Next I have two eyeliners. One is the ZA Gel Eyeliner which I have just reviewed and this is a super quick liquid liner. I just prefer using this pencil gel liner by CA because I just like it. Now I'm gonna line my eyes. It's gonna take a while. Okay, what I do is I start with the outer edge, edge, outer end. What am I saying? Outer end. Outer edge of my eyes. Because that is the part that I just want to accentuate. Not accentuate. Elongate. Because I have tiny, tiny eyes. Moving on to my other eye. Okay, my left side is normal, my right side is rubbish. Not using the liquid liner. And the last step of my makeup is to... Ta-da! Okay, not the last step, second to the last, is to curl my lashes. And this is my Shiseido eyelash curler, and this is a Blink mascara. Blink, okay, upside down. Blink tubing mascara. Last step is lips. Guy brought my Miley lipstick and my favorite lip gloss with me, and I just wanted to mix up the color. I go over it with my lip gloss. Done! Already, finally. Okay, what else is in here? Yeah, I have a little random marble I got yesterday, so if you want to know where I got it, then stay tuned for my travel video. And I still have testers of Misha BB creams in here because I thought I wanted to test it out, and then if I liked it, I could get it here because there's Misha here, but that never happened, but it's okay. All done, all gone, everything is out. I hope you enjoyed this video, this is a really casual video, and... If you liked it, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed to my channel, you know what to do, right? Subscribe, okay? Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. 